What's up YouTube, this is URC Shadow. Today we're going to be looking at Leicester's level 24 mission, Crime Scenester, soloing on hard difficulty. Now before we start I'm going to tell you we're not going to try and use explosives, Merryweather or off radar for this, simply because they cost too much money and eat into the profits of the mission. And we're not going to try using a tank because it takes forever to get it to that location. So the first time I played this mission I thought it was actually really challenging and really struggled to complete it. But after a bit of practice I found some ways to make it a lot easier, which I'm going to share with you in this video. So before we start, let's just take a quick look at the payout. You'll get $7,200 if you complete it in just over 3 minutes, and you get $9,600 if you complete it in just over 4 minutes. That is the most optimal time to complete the mission, because in those time brackets you'll get $2,400 per minute for completing the mission. And as always, you can click the speedrun icon in the bottom right hand corner of the screen now to go to a speedrun video for this mission to see the fastest way to complete it. So without further ado, let's get into it. This mission takes place in East Los Santos, and the layout is basically a whole bunch of police are guarding a briefcase full of cash in an alleyway just on the right hand side of the storm drain. What we're going to need to do is we're going to need to get into the alleyway, take out the cops, steal the cash and then make our way to Lesser's warehouse after losing the cops. So if we're coming from the road we're going to go into this alleyway, straight past the trigger, and then going to make our way onto the railway, head up a little bit and then take the second entrance into the alleyway. From here we're going to park our car facing back towards the tracks for a quick getaway. We're then going to take out the guys immediately in front of us before taking guys out left and right until we've cleared a path to the briefcase. So once we've got the briefcase, we're going to then need to lose the cops before taking the cash to Lester's warehouse. And final point to note is that wherever the host is when they start this mission is where you'll spawn. And this mission only ever takes place at 9 o'clock at night, which means you'll never be able to do it in the daylight. So starting up the mission, first we're going to grab our car. As you can see, we're already near the start point of the mission anyway. So we're going to head towards it, and coming from this direction, it's just after this lorry trailer, we're going to turn left. We're going to head into this alleyway, we're going to go straight through the yellow marker without drawing attention to the police. And we're going to find our way onto the rail track, which is just on the left hand side here. It's a little bit fiddly, but you can get there in the end. And then we're going to head down the rail tracks, looking on the radar, we're going to take the second entrance into the alleyway. We're going to park our car facing the opposite direction, ready for a quick getaway. So now we're in the alleyway entrance. The three cops in front of us, we're going to quickly take those guys out, and this is when the fun starts. So we've got three stars on us now, it's only going to get worse from here. Take out anyone that's coming immediately. And then before we go right towards the briefcase, we're going to then check the left, take out some guys there, before using shooting around the corner. Let's take these guys out. We're going to keep pushing forward, the cash is behind this white van here. Now watch out for this guy behind the van guarding the cash. He does seem to be one of the most dangerous of the lot. Yeah, I think he has a shotgun or something and some body armor. So you'll need to take extra care when you're taking him down. Once you grab the cash, we now need to get the hell out of there. So we're going to go back the way we came. Sometimes a police car will come down the alleyway, which you'll need to take out the two guys before they can get out. You notice we have a police helicopter above us as well. But we're into our car. We're going to come out the alleyway and we're going to turn right onto the rail track again. Now we're basically just going to follow the rail tracks round to the tunnel, which is an excellent place to lose cops, even in free mode. Watch out for any trains, obviously, that happen to be in the tunnel at the time. We're basically going to remain in this tunnel until we've lost the cops. Now, if you've done it as fast as I have, then you'll only have to wait here probably about 10 seconds before you're driving out again. And in my screen running video, you'll see that I do actually leave the tunnel before I've lost the cops. There is a bit of a risk to that because police helicopters will quite often spawn. As soon as you leave the tunnel, they'll see you and then you'll have to start the whole thing again and trying to lose the cops. So if you want to play it safe, and as long as you've done it quickly, you've got enough time, you want to stay in that tunnel till you've lost them. So once you've lost the cops, you want to drive out the tunnel. And on the right hand side, you'll see a gap between the exit of the tunnel and this fence. You want to drive in between that and down the hill. You want to follow this riverbed on the left hand side and then follow it left round underneath the highway. Come out the other side up this grass hill, over the top, down the hill again, and before you know it, you're at Leicester's warehouse. Simply drive through the little complex here, into the car park, and you're done. So as I mentioned, you ideally want to complete this mission in just over 3 minutes or just over 4 minutes to get, the, to get the best dollar per minute payout. Feel free to time yourself and if you find you're about to complete before the 3 minutes, it's definitely worth hanging around until you go over that 3 minute mark because it will mean all the difference between a $4,800 payout and $7,200 payout. 
So anyway guys, that's Crime Scene Stuff. Hope you found it useful. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And feel free to check out my other videos, plenty of other mission strategies, mission speedruns, and tips and tricks videos. Cheers guys, thanks for watching.